Hello and welcome to Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve. My name is Sarah and as a National Park Ranger, I'd like to get you excited and ready to hike our longest of three hiking trails, the Bartlett Lake. Glacier Bay has over 3 million acres of protected land and with 80% designated wilderness, it sure is one of the wildest places on the planet. When most people think of Glacier Bay, it's usually rocks, glaciers, and ice-carved landscapes that come to mind. But the park is also blanketed with a beautiful coastal temperate rainforest. The Bartlett Lake Trail, which begins near the park headquarters in Bartlett Cove, is a great introduction to these amazing moss-cloaked forests. The primary visitor season is Memorial Day through Labor Day. To get ready for exploring, you should expect temperatures around 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and with about 60 inches of rain per year, always bring rain gear. Also, rubber or other tall hiking boots are the best footwear. It's common to run into wet, muddy terrain or even large puddles. To make things more comfortable, I would also bring a water bottle, plenty of snacks, and perhaps bug spray. The primary starting point for the Bartlett Lake Trail is at the roadside trailhead in Bartlett Cove. Here you will find a trail sign next to a small parking area. Within three quarters mile, the trail forks. The left fork heads towards the Bartlett River. For the Bartlett Lake, take the right fork, which winds a little over four miles through woods to the lake. Although mostly flat and maintained, you may have to negotiate the occasional down log or muddy spot. It takes most visitors about two to three hours to get to the lake. A couple hundred years ago, the land where the trail is located was shaped by the advance and retreat of a massive glacier. Clues of the power of this ice are abundant. You will get the opportunity to hike over this sinuous moraine of sediment and rock. You may witness some large boulders. These glacial erratics were transported on a large conveyor belt of ice and left them behind as the glacier retreated. Rock, fallen logs, stumps, and other decaying matter are disguised under the shag carpeting of moss of this rainforest. With a close look between the brilliant green, you will find immense diversity of plants. Depending on the time of year, you may find wildflowers such as tiny orchids, draperies of lichen, or a variety of mushrooms. The understory of this forest is dominated by blueberry shrubs and other edible or non-edible berries. Look up at the canopy of the forest. These tall trees above you are Sika spruce and western hemlock trees. Intermittently, you'll find openings in the forest, revealing small ponds, bogs, and eventually your destination, a much larger body of water, the Bartlett Lake. This is a great place to find a mossy knoll or a stump to sit and enjoy your lunch while gazing upon the still waters of the lake, and on a clear day, the backdrop of the Bear Trek Mountains. It's common to hear the mysterious call of loons that also enjoy this beautiful and remote place. Keep your eyes and ears open for squirrels, porcupines, and a variety of forest birds. All of Glacier Bay is bear country, and bold black and brown bears are found in the Barlett Lake area. Be bear safe by hiking in groups and avoid surprising bears. As you hike along, make noise. Some people like to say, hey bear, hey bear. clap your hands, hey bear. keep a bear bell, or talk to your hiking buddy while hey hiking. Bear. If you do see a bear, stand your ground, hey never bear. run, and slowly walk away, especially if you see any cubs. Another animal that frequents Bartlett Lake area is the moose. They are huge and amazing. Their shoulder height can be over six feet tall and they can weigh up to a thousand pounds. Always give them space and don't approach them. If one were to charge you, run and hide behind a boulder or a tight section of trees as they have a hard time maneuvering around objects in the forest. After spending time at the lake, you have two options. Either hike back the way you came or continue along the southern shore to the Towers Trail, which provides access to the park boundary, which is about three and a half miles away. After walking through another mile of forest, you will be on an old roadbed arched with Sitka alder. Once you pass the signed park boundary, this road provides access to Mountain View Road, the only road between the park headquarters and the town of Gustavus. 
it's advised to arrange a pickup from here ahead of time. One of the great stories of Glacier Bay is life's rich return to land that has only recently emerged from the crushing grip of ice. The Bartlett Lake Trail provides you with a scenic window into the mysteries of this process. I'm excited that you're thinking about visiting this remote and unique place. I hope to see you soon on the trails in Bartlett Cove, and thanks for joining me on another edition of Glacier Bay's Ranger Minutes.